right, welcome to this video. I want to give some feedback to someone that I have found on LinkedIn. So I want to review this uh, portfolio website and I want to try to find the good parts and the bad parts. So this person and you, the viewer, can uh, improve and have better applications so you can have um, a better chance, a bigger chance at getting your first uh, web development job okay I see a lot of people that are struggling with this and I have decided to start reviewing portfolios that I'm seeing on LinkedIn so this might be one video or two videos or three videos but I really want to help people out right and forget about feelings forget about uh, only positive stuff and give people cold the cold hard truth the cold hard feedback so they can actually get unstuck and get their first web development job okay so she's Emily and she has her portfolio listed here I've been um, I went on her LinkedIn profile and I saw she finished a bootcamp right she finished a, a five-month bootcamp and I want to give my honest opinion on this portfolio as a practicing developer so I'm not just a teacher or someone that talks about web development without working in the industry for a lot of years. I'm actually active and I'm actually in the hiring team for my company, all right? So I want to see, see what uh, she can improve, okay? So no more rambling, let's get started. All right, the only positive thing I can find about this portfolio is that she has done something, okay? A lot of people and myself included when I started this thing, um, don't have anything and I did not have anything for many many months so at least she has done something okay but that's where the positives end okay looking at this website okay the design is absolutely terrible this is bootstrap I think I think uh, if I'm not correct if I'm not mistaken this is bootstrap and this design has been overused and imagine you are the the recruiter right and you are seeing this website for the first time so let's forget about uh, developers watching developers and looking at the code your first impression should be uh, the most important and when someone is seeing this website it looks like it has been in, it has been made in 2002 all right there is absolutely no style no class it doesn't look like a modern a portfolio a modern website okay so that's the first thing um, I have my notes here and I'm sorry about that if you are terrible at designing and I am as well right and if you really want to have a website you don't need to have a website but if you really want to have a website and you are terrible at design I would highly recommend to you to use Squarespace or buy a team um, a WordPress team or something but don't present yourself with something like this because people will get repulsed by you. You can have the best code in the world, but if you are a front-end developer, people will judge you by the way your apps and websites look, okay? It's super important and a lot of people are missing this thing out, okay? So if you are terrible at design, then buy a Squarespace website. It's 10 bucks a month. It's absolutely worth it and it's gonna give you that extra boost all right we need to collect points all the time so we can have a higher chance and beat the the majority of people that are trying to get into the industry okay there are a bunch of people that are trying to get into the industry and they have no clue the competition is huge and with a few tweaks right you can get ahead of them and land your first web development job okay so buy a Squarespace website okay the navbar links so if I click on about me right you see home is still highlighted about me should be highlighted okay and I'm reading here Emily is an entry-level front-end developer with JavaScript Node.js and React blah, blah, blah. she has quickly applied these learned skills by creating multiple applications within a short period of time she enjoys taking challenges and won't stop until the challenge is completed the right way well obviously she's not telling the truth over here because here 
<laughs> this link is not highlighted so she's not taking care of the details which is what a professional would do okay if you are saying you are passionate about web development and if you are taking care of the details and you are making sure that things are completed the right way make sure that this small detail works okay and i have here the page height the page height look look it ends exactly here if you notice that your page is not taking the whole height of the screen just put a minimum height on your container okay and i see the same thing here with the contact if i'm not mistaken you see it ends here this is unprofessional and it's not going to look good when people will look in your website okay you need to pay attention to the details if i go back to about me <clears throat> if i go back to about me i want to tell you that she's talking about herself uh in the third person look you're not tony robbins to talk about yourself in the third person you're not some big celebrity to talk about yourself in the third person at least this is my opinion talk about yourself in the first person okay this is um, one tip the next one is no one cares about you no one cares about you don't no one cares if you like donuts no one cares if you like ice cream the only thing people care about is what you can do for them this is super important the only thing that people care about is what you can do about them okay so if you have three seconds to present yourself in the best way try to present yourself in a way that shows that you can help people okay because you are just wasting space here now let's go to the project she says that she has no js experience if i go to her work well i don't see any no js experience so where is the Node.js experience? I cannot see it over here. Okay. Um, pause. All right. I'm sorry about that. Someone messaged me. All right. So I was saying, if you don't have any Node.js projects, don't put Node.js as experience. And Node.js doesn't really come by itself. It comes with a database. Okay. So it would make... I mean, they are not. They are not the same technology. But usually, when you have a server, you would have a database. You know, th that's the logic between them. You know, uh, so if you don't have that, don't put it in there. Okay. Now, if I can uh, comment the projects, they are very basic, right? They are toys. They are not remotely close to you what you would do in the real world uh, and then because of that she's gonna struggle a lot with finding a job because people will want to hire someone that will want to hire someone that can build real world applications and these apps are not real world applications there are elements right but they are like a feature from a real world application so real world application has a bunch of features, a bunch of pages, and they are uh, basically a, a bunch of small apps talking to each other, you know, but I don't see that in here. And she's going to struggle a lot to, to land the job, okay? Now, let's look at the projects. All right, this is a countdown, I guess. It's super basic. The... Um, Sorry about that, another interruption. Um, yeah, this again, attention to details, you know. This is super important, attention to details. <coughs> you are being paid to pay attention to the details. Here I see a blue and then here is white. Try to find the PNG so you, you'll have a transparent background on this image. So it's gonna look like it's part of this leg. I don't think you spell iPhone like this, you know. Um, yeah, very basic. At least you could have centered this whole thing, you know. Let's see. She codes weather app. I guess that's the name of the bootcamp. 
again super super basic um current location let's click on it these buttons they look uh, horrible you know you should have a bit of padding on them um maybe some margin between the input uh between the input and the and the button you know attention to details attention to details super super important margin between this at least center it you know it's not a big deal but these small details are making a difference between you being hired and you being stuck okay let's see the, the next thing dictionary app i've already used this so i'm going to refresh the page and show you how it looks like right again look at this height this is absolutely um it's unforgivable you know these mistakes are unforgivable okay what would you like to define let's say i want to define dogs a dog right you see how like this image this background image is blurry it's it 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 reeks with unprofessionalism you know you can use a, a background image from unsplash they have high quality images you can use that again we need to do everything we can to make this as good as possible right and again nothing special and the same with this react weather app is the same thing okay now let's look at the code for a bit let's look at the code let's see what we find in there right very basic stuff what i would change in here is i would actually try to set up a structure for my application okay for example i would have a components folder and then i would have forecast as a folder and then index.js where i'll put a forecast date.js and then i'll have the css for that in there so I'll, i would try to structure it in the same way you would do in a real world application again we are going back to the same thing real world real world if you are unable to produce real world stuff then you're not going to be hired to work on real world stuff let's open let's open app.js let's see what's in there okay so weather i need to open weather I don't know why my computer is so slow. I'm apologizing for that. Let's see weather. API key should be stored in .env. You should not have this available. This is fine. Formatting of the code is missing. Why do you need API key here? Like this could have done, could have been made in a different way. This is, um, this is so weird. Like why do you need the API key twice? For example, why do you need the unit twice? You let's see you have the url twice you have this twice you should have this in a use effect or something like that so you can fetch the data on mount not on the first render because right now if you not have this exception with weather data ready then you'd be calling that api over and over again and the way we want to do this is in component mount aka use effect with an empty array of dependencies all right, I'm not gonna go any further. My feedback for her is uh, there's, I can feel like there is some potential in there, but definitely it's a hard no for, from me, from my side. If she would come forward to work for my company, I would say definitely no, okay? Um, I hope 
you are able to learn something from this um, if you have any questions drop a comment on this video and if you want to work with me if you are seeing this on LinkedIn uh, message me or if you're on YouTube you have a link in the description you can apply for a free consultation call with me and then uh, we'll crush it together cheers